Mods are, as you know, an incredibly important part of BeamNG. And with there being around 700 new mods released each year on the official repository, it can be difficult to know which ones you'll enjoy the most. In this video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the best mods the community has to offer. From realistic physics mods that'll make you question if you're still in a virtual world, to detailed maps that are simply not gonna let you get bored, I've got it all covered in today's video. And stick around till the end because I'm not only breaking down the top mods in various categories, but I'm also crowning the undisputed champion of the mods, which I honestly think is gonna leave a huge mark on the world of BeamNG. So, let's start with sound mods, a category that hasn't been getting as much attention as some others, but I think it is definitely equally as important. Sound can change the whole feel of the game, and considering that the sound design in BeamNG isn't exceptionally good, these mods absolutely make the game better. There's one mod which I liked in particular, and that is the Engine Sound Remaster by Sourdisk. This mod adds a new sound to around 20 of the in-game cars, and some of them, like for example the inline 6 cylinder or the inline 4, are a major improvement in comparison to the original sound. Those were pretty good, right? I did make a video on this mod if you wanna check it out, but in my opinion the award of the best sound mod shouldn't only go to one single mod, because there's this guy called Hellraiser999, who's one of the most well-known sound modders in BeamNG, and he made numerous engine sound mods which all sound so realistic that the award for the best sound mod has to go to all of Hellraiser's mods. He makes replicas of real engines and I don't know how he does it, but it always matches exactly with the actual sound of the engine in real life. And that's not even all of it. He has 13 different sound mods right now, and there are many more coming, and also, all of these engine mods include a realistic transmission to go with it, which makes the experience even better. As the second category for today, we have funny mods. Now, picking the winner wasn't all that difficult, because this car, or at least a car similar to this one, actually exists, and considering that it's also a very funny car in real life, Putting it in BeamNG makes it even better. It is the Bog B50 by Naked, based on the actual Peel P50. And the reason why this mod is so funny? Um, well, it's just a bit smaller than usual. But in this category there are many more contenders, such as the Lego car by Agent Y, which is actually really well made. Uh, it includes a lot of configurations and, yes, it does break into individual pieces. Or for example, the Flying Pigeon by Drowsy Sam, which is just amazing. I mean, it's an Ebishu Pigeon with wings. Or the Part Randomizer by Angelo234, which gives you a very unique configuration every time you press a button. I had to decide for the B50 in the end though, because... Ouch. This mod is still in early access, but I think it's already quite refined, and while now it is paid, it will be free when it releases. Next up are the mods which make the in-game physics even better. Now, we all know that BeamNG is a game known for its incredible physics simulation, so how can somebody make it even better? Well, yes, there aren't many physics mods, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. Though in this category it was very easy to decide the winner again, as there really aren't many mods that modify the physics of the game. Now before the best physics mods, I'd like to mention one mod that could go both here and the funny category, and that's the Road Grip Editor by Angelo234. This mod does exactly what's in its name, it allows you to edit the grip value of the road. So you can make it insanely slippery or on the other hand sticky, like a drag strip for example. 
While the Road Grip Editor is great for playing around for a while, the tire wear and drafting mods by lucky for luke really modified the game physics to be even more realistic. Now, tire wear, as I'm sure you know, is a highly requested feature in BeamNG, so I think it's great to see it in-game even as a mod. This mod adds a completely new made-from-the-ground-up physics feature that actually changes the tire grip level based on its temperature and damage. There's also a user interface app which shows you all the information about the tires and it is multiplayer compatible. Unfortunately, the tires don't pop when they're at 0% yet, but that is work in progress as well as wet tire support and a pit stop and tire change plugin from multiplayer. And as a cherry on top, there's also the drafting mod, which improves the aerodynamic properties of the BeamNG physics by adding realistic slipstreaming. What this basically means is that when you're racing, for example, if you get close behind another car, your wind resistance decreases and, well, you go quicker. You might have seen this in NASCAR, for example, where the drivers are all sort of tailgating each other to get this drafting effect. Another cool thing with this mod is that if a car passes you quickly, you can see the effect of the wind created by that on your car. And all of these incredible features made this, in my opinion, the best physics mod that is currently available for BeamNG. If you sometimes get bored of just driving in BeamNG, there's a thing called scenarios. If you don't know already, these are basically in-game missions and of course, if it exists, there are gonna be mods of it. Scenarios compared to other mods are not as popular, but I can assure you that they are equally as engaging, and especially these two which I'm about to mention. I myself don't really play scenarios that often, but when I do, I like to find some that are fun and a bit challenging as well. And that's exactly what the stunt mission mod by um, Oscar2001 underscore Cadillac is. This mod includes 21 different scenarios, all inspired by the Stuntman video game. And what exactly is this Stuntman video game? Well, it's from 2002, and it's basically a game about recreating different movie stunts. The mod is exactly the same. In every scenario, you try to perform a stunt from a movie. For example, here is something from The Fast and Furious, and here is something not exactly from a movie, but I'm sure you can recognize. Hammond! Another mod released quite recently is the Most Wanted Mission mod by... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, anyways, this mod adds an incredible police chase mission which seems to be inspired by the Need for Speed Most Wanted game as is sort of obvious from the name. And it also adds a whole new user interface specifically designed for this mission. And the point of this mission is, well, to escape the police, and I think it's done extremely well here. You have a minimap, a timer, an infraction counter, and a, well, how do I call it, an arrestometer, which shows you when you've successfully escaped or when you get busted in the end. And, well, if this mission is a bit too hard for you, or too easy, you can also change the difficulty, or the heat, as it's called here. This scenario actually really makes the game feel different, and for that it does deserve to win this category, in my opinion. And next up we have a very important category of mods. As in the base game there are not that many maps to choose from, map mods do bring a lot to the game, and some of them I'd even consider to be better than the ones that were originally in the base game. With maps, there is a lot of criteria to consider, such as how large the map is, if there's actually something to do on there, and the overall quality and realism. If you want a map where you can cruise on a highway for a long time, I absolutely recommend the Tokyo Expressway map, which includes, well, the Tokyo Expressway. This map is unique in two ways, one being that there's approximately 100 kilometers or 60 miles of just highway to explore, and the other being that this map has fully functional night lighting and you can also make it rain. This means that driving at night on this map is absolutely unmatched by any other mod in BeamNG. 
And another incredible map is the Crash Grounds map by Nobi. This map is absolutely perfect for one thing, and that is driving your car to destruction. There's a wide variety of roads and road surfaces to choose from, and with this map being quite large, there's a lot to see. This map has an airport, a massive hill, various underground tunnels, and a foot statue for some reason. And this map also deserves some praise for the sheer detail it has. Just look here for example, there's little details everywhere which add tons of realism, but on the other side also a considerable impact on performance. But the map which I honestly like the most is the Motorsport Playground, which offers absolutely everything you might ever need to have fun. And I mean it, there's like dirt roads, there's bumpy roads, numerous different racetracks, there's off-road tracks, and there even are these kind of rings for airplanes. When I first got this map, I spent over three hours just trying everything that it offers, and I didn't even get close to exploring everything. So that just shows how much there is to do on this map. And regarding overall quality, this map is also among the best, as I think this map looks good from any angle you look at it. I haven't found any major bugs or issues and I've been having a great time playing on this map and that is why I'm putting it as the best map mod in BeamNG. And the last map mod I have to mention is the Fairhaven map, which is a ported map for Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 and it is, in my opinion, the best map port for BeamNG. There are some issues, yeah, and some things are a bit iffy, but this map is massive, it has nice detail, and there's also some completely new features in BeamNG, such as Need for Speed style speed traps and a crash camera, and also working nighttime lighting. Now, with maps it was hard to determine the best ones, but with vehicles it's even harder. There's cars, trucks, buses, planes, and to say which one is the best is pretty hard, but I'm sure most of you will agree with me. Though, first I'll show you some that were also very close to getting the first place. Starting off with buses, we have a very advanced mod called the Capsule, which includes 78 different configurations, with variants ranging from small 10 meter buses to massive articulated double deckers. There are some cool features such as opening doors and wheelchair ramps, all controlled with these little buttons. And when it comes to engine options, there's petrol, electric and also hybrid powertrains. Moving on to truck mods, there are definitely great free mods to choose from, but if you have the means to pay a small price, I would greatly recommend the Segra Ultimate Semi Truck. This mod is clearly inspired by other European trucks and well, because of that, it is the most realistic truck mod that you can find on the forums right now. There's 19 configurations, some of them have 2 axles, some of them have 3, some of them have 57, no, I'm just kidding. And all the models are amazingly well detailed, with interactive interiors, adaptive axle height and overall a great 3D model. But now the category that may be the most important to many of you, and that is cars. Beginning with SUVs, the Procyon Centauri by Finn Wilkinson is for sure the best one you can get on the forums, even though it is already almost two years old. It's a modern luxury Japanese SUV and this mod actually seems like it could have been a car in real life. It's almost perfect in terms of realism and even the configurations are how they would probably be in real life. If you want something made for the track, I'd go for the Carbon Works F4 made by Lucas BE. This is a Formula 4 car, which is basically like a Formula 1 car, but sort of smaller and cuter. This only gets a 2 liter inline 4, but don't get me wrong, it's definitely no slouch. With this mod, there's a variety of liveries to choose from, and each has 4 different tuning configurations, so if you want to go racing with friends, this is exactly the mod for it. Though, going fast does not mean you have to be on the track, and that's where the Bugatti Chiron by Innocent Joker comes in. Real car recreations in BeamNG are often what you call mesh slaps, a quickly made mod with the structure of a completely different car, sometimes even with a stolen model. 
But this Huron is absolutely an exception. We have 27 configurations and of course they all get the gigantic 8 liter 16 cylinder engine. Overall it's well modeled, it has a great sound and it performs like an actual Bugatti. And because of that I definitely do recommend this mod. In the beginning of the video I promised to show the overall best mod and you may have noticed there's one I haven't even mentioned yet. You can guess what it is and if you thought of the Hirochi CCF you're absolutely right. To be accurate it's the CCF and the Procyon Vela by Theo and Finn Wilkinson. These are small sporty convertibles with each of them having an incredible selection of configurations. You can get a 4 cylinder, a 6 cylinder, an electric variant as well, a soft top or a hard top roof. Well, to put it simply, there's almost endless options. It is a rework of the original CCF made in 2022, but comparing these two isn't really possible as the new one really is that much better. To begin, this may just be the best model and design I've ever seen on a BMG cars. Just look at those lines, everything looks exactly right and if you think the interior can't be that good, think again because this is just exceptional, both uh, in the CCF and in the Procyon Vela. The CCF, and yeah it is unfortunately only the CCF, has this advanced infotainment system which can do a wide range of things, like an actual infotainment screen would like modify the drive mode settings, change the appearance of the gauges, you can also play songs using the radio if you load them into the game and if the car has ambient lighting you can also mess around with that in the screen. And as a cherry on top, if you remember, at the beginning I mentioned Hellraiser's sound mods. Well guess what, they also work with the CCF. So that all put together makes these two cars, the Hiroshi CCF and the Vela, the best and the most realistic mods that you can download right now. Or at least I think so. If you want to download any of the mods mentioned in this video, there are links in the description and if there's any other cars or maps or whatever you thought deserved a place in this video, make sure to tell me down below in the comments. There's definitely more content coming up, so if you don't want to miss out on any of it, I highly recommend hitting the subscribe or the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.